Good evening and welcome to PPI Lee's for the first round of the H Carts Club Championship. The Carts will soon be coming out for Heat 1 on pole position with Matt Firth, second Jake Medson, third is Jake Hornsby, fourth Jake Dent, fifth is Owen Harper, sixth Veronica, seventh Sam Wong, eighth is Alistair Topless, ninth Jake Butcher, tenth Josh Stanley, eleventh Miguel Kennedy, twelfth Josh Butcher, thirteenth Scott Godfrey, and running out the field in fourteenth is Carl Dransfield. So a 14 strong field for this opening race. Well, good move there from Jake going into the Piff Puff session. He takes second place already. Jake Hornsby that is. And further back in the field we've got some carnage. Jake Hornsby going for a lead maybe at the end of the first lap. Jake's going to take the lead. We've got a spinner, yellow flags out at the first corner. Jake has the lead though, Jake Hornsby, well drifting around the corner there, it's number three. And in second place we've got Matt Furr, but coming up behind in third place is Alistair Topless, the BUKC driver. Uh, comes Alistair, with Josh Butcher behind him in fourth. Fifth place we've got Jake Dent. And the fields are, we've got four course yellow, a four course yellow on track. There's four course yellow, it's got a bunch to fill up together now as the lights are still on. So Jake Hornsby leads another lap as you come around across the line now. And in fact they've stopped the race. And the race is back underway after a bit of a telling off. But this has put Alistair and Josh Butcher in a great position here. And here we go, it's the last up. And he's going to take the checker flag. Jake Hornsby wins. Josh Butcher second with Alistair Topless third. That's the top three as the rest of them cross the finish line now. But it's a win for Jake Hall. And Jamie Duffel's got a massive lead already. The rest of the field are bunched up behind a slower car. And that slower car is Matt Mullen. And as a result, Jamie Duffel's got a massive lead as the rest of the field come through. There is Jamie going through the piff path section and the rest of them haven't even come through to turn one yet. Here they come now as they feel Brundle through and Ollie Green has made a good start, he's up to third place already, I think it's Tom Sansbury in fourth and Patrick Shabinsky in fifth and here they come down the field now, oh Matt Mullins hit the barrier, it's an even worse start for Matt Mullins, he's now managed to hit himself into the barrier and no such problems over for Jamie Duffel as he comes under the bridge to the new section of track, it's been changed since the last round of the, well since the give it a go session and Jamie Duffel was wondering where everyone is and here is the answer, They're probably about six, seven seconds down the road but Ollie Green was looking rather menacing. You've got Tom Sansbury and Patrick Jabinski also wanting to get involved. So now it's time for the main race of the day. This is the A final as a car. It's got 14 carts which will contest this A final. And these are the 14 drivers who have the highest number of points in their heat, which is pretty obvious. So we had a B final before this, which is won by Niall O'Flaherty. So well done, Niall. That's the first win for him in the B final. But this is how the grid will line up, and for this race, it's going to be a standing start. So on the front row, we're going to have Josh Butcher. Alongside him is Oli Greenwood. Row two is Patrick Jabinski and Chris Entwistle. Row three, Alistair Topless and Jake Cornsby. Carl Dransfield lines up on the inside of row four and seven. Other notable people are Jamie Duffel in 10th and Dan Turner in 12th. As we wait for the lights to go out here at PPIK Leeds. And when they do, it will be fast and furious racing. Josh Butcher on pole position, Oli Greenwood alongside him. To be you can see Regus Rast, yeah, now go the lights. That's a good start from Josh. He's in front of Ollie, and there's not really much change, but further down the field, Jamie Duffel's looking to make a move and make a position. I think he's actually made it on there. That's a good move from Jamie Duffel, who participated in the BUKC Rookie Championship race. 
at Buckmore Park. But as they come down the bridge for the first time, it's still exactly the same as when they left, really. But Alison Topless is already making some moves up there. I think that's one position gained already up to fifth place. But Josh and Ollie, Patrick third. And indeed, Alison's trying to get around Chris Entwistle. But Entwistle says, not this time, Alistair, and keeps the position. So Chris Entwistle keeps the fourth position with Alison Topless in fifth. But Jake Butcher, not Jake Butcher, Josh Butcher and Ollie Greenman are starting to pull away from the field already as they end the first lap. Josh and Ollie, amazing how they get around that first corner. Not much breaking involved there, but it's going to move down the inside, maybe from Carl Jansfield. Good move there from Carl on Jake Hornsby, I believe that is. That's a position gain for him as the field comes through. All 14 cars made it through the first corner. And the fact they made it through the whole first lap without any, I haven't seen any contact yet, which is quite a miracle, really, given the competitiveness of the drivers. But Jake and Ollie, it is. He's still kind of in front, but Arsene Topless, has he managed to get his way past Chris Edmissel yet? That's the main question. And I believe he has managed to get his way through. So Arsene Topless up into fourth position, the Kimbolton racer. And we've got quite a good field out here today. We've got Josh Butcher, 2007 stars of tomorrow. We've got Ollie Greenwoods from the road tax category. Um, the most high profile driver, Patrick Jabinski, who races in the Porsche Super Cup, is under pressure from Arsene Topless. Patrick for the give it a go session came back from Singapore not long before but now he's got the Technican Bolt and Terra Alistair Topless all over the back of his car and Alistair goes towards the outside Patrick defends the inside and Alistair tries to make it round the outside that's going to be a dodgy move or brave move shall I say but he's not going to just carry off and there's a bit of bump draft in there further back in the field and Alistair has made his way past Patrick out of our camera view it's third place for Alistair Topless and further back that's a good overtaking move there by the guy in the police seat I don't know your name sorry but that was a good move. And this could be a chance here. Ollie has got to try and defend Asta, but he can't do anything about it. And Asta slips through on turn one. And Asta, who's got the race in fifth position, has already found himself into second place. And also, Carl Jansfield has managed to get past Patrick Jabinski, the Porsche driver. But now for the lead, Alistair goes trying to go inside Josh. He can't make it this time. But Josh is defending well. Alistair tries. He's not going to give it up. Is Alistair topless. He wants to win this first round of the club championship and he's all over the back of Josh but all this is allowing Ollie Greenwood to get back into action so from two it's one to three and there's, there's, there's a spin there a uh, few carts involved there but Josh and Ollie go again and Josh has hit the barrier lost momentum and that's the only invitation Alistair needs and Alistair has gone down the inside and Alistair topless he started fifth and he's put a faster slap in 42.088 on this modified layout that is a fantastic lap and Alistair Topless takes the lead in the first round of the H Cards Club Championship. This is the A final, and that was Dan Turner you saw there with the GoPro in his helmet. And that's a good little battle coming down there now. Chris Edmissel is involved in that, I think, as well. And there's uh, our guest driver from Leeds, uh, Takuma Sato, lookalike, as they come round now for yet another time. And it's Alistair and Jake's, not Jake, Josh, still racing with Ollie in third position. In fact, that's the chequered flag. And Alistair Topless has won the first round of the H Cards Club Championship. Fantastic drive from Alistair. He was by far the quickest car on track, but also well done to Josh and to Ollie Greenwood, who takes second and third. There's a little wave to the camera there from Jamie Duffel, I believe, uh, as the rest of the carts come through. But that really was a great drive from Alistair. He started fifth, he put his way through the field, he went past Patrick, Chris, and as I now, that's Josh Butcher with the uh, black suit getting out of his car. Ollie Greenwood there as well, and Carl Jansfield. Good drive from Carl Jansfield to take fourth place with Patrick Jabinski taking fifth. And that brings to an end what has been a fantastic first round of the club championships. And I hope you've enjoyed this video.